how to sell DIY craft kits on Etsy. Hey guys, welcome to this new video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can sell your own products using this platform. So let's get started first by explaining the platform for you. So guys, Etsy.com is a platform where you can sell your own products or where you can buy the other sellers' products. So as you can see here, we have a lot of products from a lot of sellers and we have also a lot of categories to work on. So you can make a shop for jewelry and accessories or clothing and shoes or home and living or these other ones and here as you can see there are a lot of products in this platform and a lot of sellers making a lot of money so let's check one of these products for example let's check this earring for example so guys in today's video i'm going to show you how you can set a shop page exactly like this one for your product so i'm going to show you how you can enter the price how you can enter the description and how you can set the return and policy and shipping settings and how you can enter the details and this description and also i'm going to show you how you can enter or insert your products uh, pages as you can see here we have a lot of pages a lot of a lot of pictures about the product so let's just close this tab and move on to this page click on the shop manager button in your top right then you will proceed to setting up your etsy shop so here in order to set your etsy shop you will need to go through six steps Starting with the shop preferences, let me just wait for it to load. So here you will need to start from the shop preferences, then comes name in your shop, then stock in your shop, then you will choose how you'll get paid, then you'll set up your payment processes and the shop's security. So you start from the first one, which is the shop preferences. And here we choose the shop's language, the shop's country, and the shop's currency. Let's change it from the Moroccan dirham to the United States dollar. Then click on save and continue to proceed to the next step, which is choosing a name for the shop. So here I'm going to choose this name then remove the spaces between the name between the words and as you can see the name is already taken so you can choose from one of these options or you can just add a number then the name will be unique after that click on save and continue to proceed to the next step which is stocking your shop or adding some photos and details about your item fill out what you can for now you'll be able to edit this later so guys before proceeding to adding the photos and details about your product click on save and continue first just to see all of the required fields to fill so here the first field the first required field is the photos so here please upload at least one photo then the next required section is inventory where you will enter the product's price then comes listing details where you're going to fill all of these red fields then we have the shipping where you will need to choose all of the shipping settings the processing time delivery time and so on so let's start from the first step which is photos and here add as many as you can so buyers can see every detail use up to 10 photos to show your items most important qualities and for some tips use natural light and no flash include a common object for scale show the item being held worn or used shoot against a clean simple background add photos to your variations so buyers can see all their options then we have the video bring your product to life with a 5 to 15 second video it could help you drive more sales the video won't feature sound so let your product do the talking and for some quick tips film wearable items on a model or show a functional item being used adjust your settings to record the high resolution video aim for 1080 pixels or higher 
crop your video after you upload it to get the right dimensions and if you want to learn how to make videos that sell you can just click on this link then we have the listing details so here enter the title of the product then you answer these three questions who made the product you did a member of your shop or a company or person let's go with me what is it a finished product or a supply or tool to make things a finished product when did you make it not yet made recently or vintage let's go with recently before 2004 then for the renewal before that you have the category so here just type the product's name and you can you can choose from a lot of categories in here i'm going to choose the first one and here you have some additional details to fill and the craft type is necessary as you can see it has this symbol and if some detail have optional in front of it it's optional you can skip it for later so here i'm going to choose the first one you can select up to five so i'm just going to go with just one then you have some additional details like the primary color of the product the secondary color the occasion of the product the holiday and here we have the occasion you can choose any occasion you like then we have the renewal options if it's if you want to use an automatic renewal which cost 20 cents each time or if you want to use the manual one which is free and you will do the renewal yourself then we have the type of the product if it's physical or digital and for me i'm going to go with physical and for the description if you want to enter an amazing description make sure to start with a brief overview that describes your items finest features shoppers will only see the first three lines of your description at first so make it count not sure what else to say shoppers also like hearing about your process and the story behind this item then we have the section tags and materials and they're all optional i'm going to leave them for later then for the price make sure to give it a fair price for you and for your clients so this is just an example then comes the shipping settings so fill these read fields as i said in the beginning then we have the returns and exchanges policy you can apply the 30 days policy or you can choose another one by creating your own as you can see in here you can accept what you want and you can choose the time frame that you want so that's it guys for today's video don't forget to like the video subscribe to my channel and share the video with your friends